I'm in AX 2012 here. Let's have a look at an error message that you might run into time to time, which is number sequence has been exceeded. So let me do create the error message. And let's say, for example, in this case, I'm going to update the inventory quantity on these items, which is going to try to do an inventory journal. So it's going to give me an error message that says number sequence and the record ID um, and has been exceeded message. So how do you know what number sequence this is actually related to? So if you know the setup then you'll probably know the specific document number so you could find that, so I'm going to cancel this for example, you could find that by going into the inventory management parameters and looking at the number sequences but uh, in this case I, I know it's this one, the journal voucher, but um, if you're kind of new to uh, AX2012, how do you know which one it could be? Because it could be, for example, the counting journal, or it could be um, the other journal. So which one actually is it? So if you go over to organization administration, for example, you'll see the number sequences. Now, this list is kind of handy because it gives you the smallest, the largest, and then the next one. So if you're not sure what number is run out, um, you could make use of these columns. So let's have a look at how we could do that, for example. So I'm going to go and export this to Excel. So there's going to be quite a lot of number sequences. There's a lot of number sequences in the system. So what we want to use is then Excel to maybe help us out, find out what's um, run out. So what I'm going to do here is add a new column and I'm going to use a formula in Excel. So I'm going to say if um, E2 is greater than um, D2, because what we're saying is if the next number is actually greater than what the number sequence has been set up for, then I'm going to say yes, it's greater. Otherwise, I'm going to say no. All right, so then that gives us a column that we could filter on. So you'll see it'll auto populate for us, which then we can simply go and filter for the yeses. Um, and so in this particular case, we'll see that the number sequence invent 165, um, the next number is 10,000, but the largest number was 9,999. So this has exceeded the number sequence. So that there could be a few of them in your system, but in this case, um, in my data, I've got the one. So in this case, what I can do is then go back to the number sequences. I could go and filter on VE165, for example, filter on that number sequence, and then have a look at the reference. So in this case, I can see the references is inventory management journal voucher. So once you've got the reference, then um, you can relate that back to the inventory management. So in inventory management parameters, um, number sequences, this is your journal voucher. So you'll see it's the 165. So that'll give you a quick indicator um, of which one you have to modify. Um, so either from here or when you are back in the number sequences, whichever way, um, from here then you can go and modify and update the number sequence um, if you can, otherwise create a new number sequence and then replace it. So you'll see here the largest is 9,999, um, next is 10,000, so we've run out of this one. So in this case you probably want to create a new number sequence um, and assign it back to that particular reference. So that's a quick way to determine the number sequence. In this case I just make a new Excel and the formula is pretty simple. It's just if largest number uh, or the next number is greater than largest number just give me an indicator and then I can filter on that. So quick way to find out what that number sequence actually is because the error message is giving you the record idea which is kind of cryptic um, to actually navigate through